Hey, what you doing? Oh, hey. Hi, Lucy. <clears throat> um, what? What am, what am I? I'm not, I wasn't doing anything. Really? You're not doing anything? No, not, not, not really. Um, can you give me your phone? Because mine's out of battery and I need to make a call. Yours too? Oh my gosh, what's wrong with these phones, right? I mean, they're always running out of battery and... Your phone is out of battery? Mine? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Probably, probably. Look, why did you say yours too? As if your phone was definitely out of battery. Well, because, you know, everybody's phones are always running out of battery, right? And it's so frustrating because it's right when you need it, you know? And so I was just saying, yours too? Give me your phone. I cannot give you my phone because that, dear Lucy, would be immoral. You know that. Either give me your phone or tell me what is going on. <sighs> All right, fine. If you must know, I'm planning on killing Bill Maher. You're planning on killing Bill Maher? HBO's Bill Maher, the real-time guy? Yes, and I didn't want to tell you because, quite frankly, I am sick to death of your constant disapproval and shaming. I mean, it is not right for an immoral being like myself to constantly be... Do you mean immortal? Immortal. Yes, right. That's... Thank you. You know what? I'm fine with it. Kill away. Really? He was given an award at an atheist convention several years ago by my friend's foundation. And he showed up with two 24-year-olds or a 22-year-old. I don't know, but it was disgusting. What a pig. Yeah, that's disgusting. And isn't he an anti-vaxxer nut? I don't know. Well, what did he do to get you all upset? He went on nationally televised television and told everyone that I am a psychopathic mass murderer. Really? Yeah. Can you believe that guy? I mean, that's outrageous. Oh, because you killed all the firstborn in Egypt? No. Oh, because of the genocide in Canaan? No. Oh, because you had your own son tortured and crucified? N no, that's not why. Oh, Sodom and Gomorrah? No. Oh, ordering the death of all homosexuals? No. Oh, ordering the murder of all non-virgin girls? No. Ordering the death of Sabbath breakers? You know, maybe I just need to give this Mar character a little more time to repent because he's young, right? He could turn it around. I mean, he had a tough childhood. You gotta give him that because he, he had like one parent who was a Catholic, another who was a Jew. It's, it's... You mean because it's religiously confusing? No, because, you know, most kids barely survive one religion. Well, you know what? Maybe it's for the best then. <sighs> But you know, I was really in the mood to smite someone. I haven't done that for a long time. I know, I was getting kind of bloodlusty too. Really? I, I didn't know you got that way. It's not often, but I do. Maybe once every millennium or so. Well, you know, my people are really up in arms about this Tyson guy. The chicken farmer? No, he's an astrologist phys ed teacher or something like that. Got a show about Kronos. Why would they be out to get him? Like, my people need a good reason, really? I mean, they, they put away Galileo for saying the sun goes around the Earth. Right. There's also this science guy, um, Bob Benny Biff. I can't remember. What did he do? He apparently chewed up some ham and spit it out at, a, at some debate or something. They don't know you don't care about pork anymore? Apparently not, no. You know what, neither of these guys sound like they really deserve it, so let's find someone that we both can agree on. Someone we can both agree on? That's, that's gonna be tough. There's gotta be somebody that everybody can agree on. Lucy, you're never gonna find someone that everyone agrees, you know, should be smote or smoten or smitten, is it? There's gotta be somebody. <sighs> okay, here, let me see, let me put my dunce cap on. You got your dunce cap on, too? Yeah. Thinking cap. Mm -hmm. Thinking cap, that's right. Oh, I have a thought. Are you thinking the same thing I'm thinking? I think so. I think we have a smoter. Hi, I'm Brian Dalton, the creator of The Mr. Deity Show. Did you know that every year, millions of people live with a debilitating disorder that profoundly limits their ability to experience and enjoy life? Rich, poor, black, white, male or female, this plague doesn't care who you are or what you've done. Many are exposed to this malady in childhood, and though it may lie dormant for years, the subtle, subconscious torment with which many are afflicted can be life-deadening 
and a grave threat to society in general. Of course, I'm talking about religion. Many people wrongly believe that religion is a benign force. Some even believe it to be a force for good. But recent studies have clearly shown that while religion can bring temporary comfort and a sense of purpose, religion's devastating side effects completely outweigh any and all perceived benefit. Those afflicted with religion often suffer from the following. A rigid, unyielding reverence for ancient books written by literal ignoramuses. An inability to comprehend deep time. The belief that animals can talk, but not evolve. The frequent need to put a positive spin on genocide and other acts of mass murder. Bad hair. A stubborn refusal to accept scientifically confirmed facts. And a desire to see those who disagree suffer unspeakable torments for all eternity. How do you know if you have religion? Do you have an uncontrollable urge to put your hands up in the air as if being robbed? Do you suffer from severe sexual guilt? Do you frequently feel the urge to deny others equal protection under the law? Do you often stand in need of apologists to explain away some horrific fact you're supposed to view as good or honorable? Do you claim to have certain knowledge of mystical things which have never been reliably or repeatedly confirmed? Are you periodically tempted to vote Republican? If you answered yes to three or more of these questions, you may be suffering from religion. Of course, as yet, there is no quick cure for this terrible scourge. Fortunately, studies have shown that repeated viewings of the Mr. Deity Show can send religion into remission, sometimes for good. Our formula of humor, biting satire, and insightful commentary on some of religion's thornier subjects has proven to be the antidote that many need to overcome the devastating evisceration of our common humanity that religion can bring. So if you can afford to, head on over to MrDeity.com and click the donate button to donate or financially subscribe. Because until there is a cure, laughter may truly be the best medicine.